This tutorial will explain how to determine stresses acting on any plane uh, at some angle, so inclined plane. We're going to look at uh, two examples again, uh, the one on the left hand side, example number one, number two, we'll see that we have uh, stresses acting on the cell element. So we have compressive stresses and shear stresses. And we see that there is an inclined plane AB. And we need to find out stresses, normal stress and shear stress acting on this plane. Maybe something like this, normal stress and shear stress like this. So um, to find that, we're going to use uh, two formulas. And it's not that difficult if we follow the formulas given here. Uh, the only issue is uh, with the angle, how to define this angle and how to uh, find the shear stress. And we're going to look at these two different examples. You will see that uh, planes are inclined at different angles. Uh, we'll see how to deal with this. So we'll start with the first example where we have uh, compressive stresses and shear stresses. So as you already know that this compressive stress is uh, positive and it's uh, sigma x. This one is uh, compressive stress which is also positive sigma y. So this is what I wrote here. This is sigma y, uh, sigma x. So now we need to find the shear stress that we're going to use in this formula here. And we'll also use it uh, here as well. So in this case, we take shear stress uh, sigma tau xy, and um, just uh, if you don't remember the uh, notation, always take the stress which is on the right hand side. So uh, this one uh, doesn't matter on the direction of the stress. You always take this one, and let's look at the direction. Let's see if the shear stress is positive or negative. So you will see it's. Uh, uh, acts in this direction, which is uh, counterclockwise, so it's going to be positive. So you see that this stress is positive, and now we're going to use uh, the angle theta that we use in all these formulas. Uh, you see that I put it as 115 degrees, even though here it says 65. So uh, the way that we define this angle, we are going to uh, measure it from horizontal line. Uh, so this is horizontal line. This is AB. Sorry for my drawing. So we're going to start, we we'll always start from the um, right hand side before the plane and then measure all the way to the plane like this. And even though we're given angle 65 degrees, we're not going to use this one. We always take this angle. So just remember this one. And this one is going to be 115 degrees. So we get it as 180 minus uh, 65 equal 115 degrees. And now once we know um, all the variables, we just put them in the formula. So this is going to be the formula for the normal stress acting on play A, B. So uh, I put numbers here already and did some calculations. So you see that here uh, angle theta, which is 115 degrees. And we're going to get that normal stress acting on the plane AB, it's 10.75 um, kilonewton per square meters. And um, then we just calculate the shear stress acting on this plane. We already know everything. You see we have angle here and we have um, uh, shear stress, which is 3.1. And this is going to be the answer. Now let's look at the second example uh, where we have a different set of stresses. Again, we're given stresses acting on the top part of the cell element and on the right hand side part of the cell element. And we're also given the plane uh, AB and we know that this angle is 45 degrees. So we are asked to calculate uh, normal stress and shear stress acting on this plane. So again, we'll start with defining the variables, the one that we're going to use in the formula, sigma y, sigma x, 
and tau xy and that's the angle theta so for the compressive stresses normal stresses is pretty simple so we already know that they're all positive and this one is always sigma x and this one is almost sigma y so you see we have a very large sigma x which is 52.7 and we also have even larger uh, sigma y it's here um, now again um, as i told you before we take the shear stress which is on the right hand side always take this stress you see that it acts in the clockwise direction if it's clockwise direction is going to be negative so that's why the shear stress that we're going to use to calculate the stresses is going to be negative 34.1 and now we're going to find theta as i mentioned again so we have horizontal line and we have plane uh, ab so again for poor drawing here and we know that this angle is 45 so again what we do we start um, from the horizontal line on the right hand side here and then measure this angle to the plane like this always do it this way so this is going to be theta and then we know that if this one it's uh, 30 degrees it's going to be 30 plus uh, 45 will give us 135 degrees so that's what i have here and the next step is just uh, pure uh, math calculations uh, we just put all the numbers that we already know uh, we're going to put angle here um shear stress and we are going to get um normal stress and for the shear stress acting on play a b uh, you will see that we have a negative shear stress so negative and negative will give us plus here and the angle is 135 degrees in the end will give us uh, will give us a negative uh, shear stress